Bible's about? There's what's so many it? different types of things. I mean, you know, there's the esoteric aspect of like spiritual well-being and stuff, but there's also, you know, it's what makes our iPhones work. Uh, quartz crystal under pressure creates like electricity pretty much and just powers our laptops and our things like that. So what kind of crystal is that? This is a clear quartz crystal. And do you wear it as a talisman? Does it have properties? Um, it does have properties, you know, but I, I, for me it was more of an intuitive kind of obsession as a kid growing up. And they, they're fairies in that, in that universe, but it, they're elves, really, mm -hmm. you know, down to it. It's an elf. So, so many inspirations since I was a kid, you know, like, obviously this crystal thing helps because they're in that world, they use that technology. Um, and it's just been fantastic. I've always wanted to play a being that comes from a different reality and different dimension and they are eternal, you know, so they have a, a, a wide perspective of humanity and they've seen things happen over centuries. So they, they're, they're detached from the drama and they've bought a, a, a huge billboard in Korea that I ran into uh, when awesome. I was there. Uh, so many, so many things. What do you think it is Time about Square. this show mm -hmm. that has, you know, got the fans so connected to it where they're mm -hmm. doing this, these extraordinary things? Yeah. Well, obviously, it's the books, you know? It's yeah. been, it's yeah. been a book series. They, they've had that connection to that reality, to that world, to that lore for a long time, before we even were part of it. Mm -hmm. And so it's really much their world, you know? I was one of those people with the Buffy universe, like, you know, I decided. Tell me that. I'm so excited. That's, you know, my whole life I've been kind of waiting for the time when I could do this and not really knowing how I was going to form it, but now everything's clear and I've been planning for, for a few months, uh, everything, the whole plan, the whole, the whole look, the whole everything. And, you know, doing it, it's going to be released in June and the fans are a huge part of it. It's dedicated to the fandom, actually. Love Letters to a Fandom? It's called maybe? Love Letters to a Fandom. Exactly. I'm in a yeah, love letter to a fandom. Um, you know, to thank them, they've changed my life, and you know, because of them, I travel the, the globe now, and um, they've just showed such support. And I want to continue this connection because even though the show's ending, the connection we have is not ending. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people to sort of go into despair. I want them to look forward to the future and to honor the past. And so I've created, you know, sort of a segue into the future. Um, and you know, music—it's—it's it's so personal.